Let us discuss the scope lifetime of different type of variables and the process segments. Basically, there are four process segments. So let's understand what are those segments and which variable come from which segment and why does it matter from where they come. It relates to their lifetime. So that's how it matters. So let's talk one at a time. So at line number five, you have this global variable that comes from data segment. So let me explain what are these segments. There is this stack, which is basically the function call stack for every function call, a frame a function call frame is added to this stack, which basically stores the local variables of the function. And it will also store the arguments in that function. Heap is basically dynamically allocated. So for example, line number 21 and 22, we are doing dynamic allocation, malloc, all that comes from heap. Data segment is like uh, those data which starts living as soon as the program starts and keeps living till the program ends. So that means all the global variables and even the static variables. For example, at line number 10, you can see count called. This count called is basically counting how many times this calculate sum has been called. It is initialized only once to zero. Next time when the function is called, it remembers its value and it keeps getting incremented. So all the global and static variables, they come from the data segment and code segment is basically the machine instructions, the compiled code. It is also called text segment. These are the four segments. Let's see each variable from where it is coming. So globe being a global variable comes from the data segment, int sum and int ab. They are coming from the function call frame of calculate sum result and the value of this pointer itself. PTR is a local variable. This memory of the pointer itself, it's coming from the function call frame of main. But the memory which is allocated by malloc is coming from heap. And then the code is basically doing scanf, reading it from the user, calling that calculate sum, printing it. So let's visualize the stack. This is the stack and the code starts flowing at main. So line number 18, result gets created storage of result is in stack ptr1 the pointer itself is in stack ptr2 the pointer itself is in stack and then line number 21 and 22 they allocate memory malloc a small one int but those little int are coming from heap that's outside the stack if it is outside the stack means when the function returns it will still live this heap allocated stuff will still live when a function returns, but the stack allocated stuff will die when a function returns. That's why we are not supposed to return address of local variables, but we can happily return pointers assigned to heap allocated malloc blocks. That's why it matters from where that memory is coming. At line number 25, we call calculate sum. So another function call frame will be added and that frame will correspond to calculate sum. And what will it store? It will store this line number nine sum. There are two int a and int p arguments. So even that and count called and globe, they are coming from the data segments. Assume this is data segment. Globe comes from here. Count called also comes from here. If this function calculates some, maybe in some other implementation is returning address of globe, it is a fair thing to do. If it returns address of count called, it is a fair thing because when the function returns, it will still be okay. But if you feel like returning address of sum, that will be a blunder because sum will die when the function returns. So never return address of a local variable. And it's important to know which variable lives in which segment. It directly relates with the lifetime and validity of the variables. To recap, we have heap for malloc allocated memory. The local variable and arguments come in the function call stack frame. The global and static variables which start existing when the program begins and keep existing till the program ends. They are coming from the data segment. Fourth is the text segment, which is basically the machine instructions. So these are the four segments.